Hello friends, welcome to a new vlog. I thought it would be a good day to do a little fall vlog because it's like the high is like 60 today and yeah, I just thought it would be fun. The leaves are changing, like I said the weather's colder and I thought it would be fun to take you along on my day. It's Saturday, October 15th. I think we're going to maybe go see some leaves, maybe. Haven't decided for sure on that yet. But we're going to get to Trader Joe's and obviously Barnes and Noble, of course. And I think I may get a new phone, so that's exciting. But yeah, I think I'll show you some of the leaves just around our house. And yeah, I'm just hoping today will be a vlog full of all of the fall vibes and I'm excited to take you all along with me. Side, but I forgot to mention that we just got done with a run so we did that this morning it was like a really nice fall run and like you said the leaves are changing and the sun was like coming up so the fall leaves were like illuminated <laughs> by the sun so it was really pretty and then I got pumpkin coffee I got a pumpkin drink it was delicious it was warm and I took a shower and now we're about to have breakfast <laughs> from Trader Joe's and Barnes and Noble and just shopping in general so I'm going to give you guys a little haul of everything I got. Trader Joe's didn't have everything I wanted but they had enough and the main things I wanted they did have so I was pretty happy with the haul but let's get into it. First we got these yellow corn tortilla chips. These are our favorite, especially with Chipotle. We got two gluten-free pumpkin pancake mixes. These are our favorites as well. Jalapeno and corn and rice puffs. These are it's so addicting. I eat like half the bag in one sitting. They're very good. This autumnal harvest soup. We haven't tried this yet, so I'm excited to try it. This honey crisp apple cider. I've heard really good things about this one, but I also haven't tried this. Bacon, pizza, orange juice, some roast beef for sandwiches or wraps. These ABC bars, these are really good to have before a workout or a run. Two of these chili lime tortilla rolls. These are one of my favorite snacks from Trader Joe's and I got two because we don't go that often, so these will last me until the next time we go. Two pizza sauces. We've been loving have, making homemade pizza, so that's why we got these. Some sourdough bread. These chocolate mousse pumpkins. I have seen the most amazing things about these, so I'm excited to try them. These pumpkin sticky toffee cakes. I thought these would also be good. I've also heard good things about this. Blueberry waffles. This oat brown sugar creamer. This is delicious. I'm obsessed with it in my coffee. <laughs> two of these fall edition kombuchas. Two of these pumpkin spice lattes. Some New Zealand shrimp cherry cheese. Never had this before, but it just kind of sounded good. These chicken cilantro mini wontons. These are delicious and great for a quick meal. And the last for Trader Joe's is this buffalo style chicken dip. Shout out to my sister for showing me this and making me obsessed with it. This is delicious. I highly recommend it. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and then I'll continue with the Barnes and Noble and the rest of the stuff we got. All right, I'm back and I'm going to do my Barnes and Noble haul. And I got The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. This is the third book in the Truly Devious series, which I read the first book and I was obsessed with it. I am planning on reading the second book this month sometime but then 
I, the first book ended on a cliffhanger, so I'm like, I need to have it with me because I didn't have the second book with me and then we went on vacation. I had to go all vacation without reading it. So now I just have it on hand. So they're all ready to go after I finish them and I can just go boom, boom, boom. And so next I got The Box in the Woods. I don't, I think this one must be a spinoff because this one says a truly devious novel and this one doesn't. So I think it's still in the same world and it looks like it's still has to do with Stevie, but it looks like it's just following a different storyline. So yeah, I'm very excited about both of these. Let me know in the comments if you've read them. And yeah, that's it for my Friends in Noble Hall. And the most excited thing I got is a new phone. I got the green one. Hello friends, it's a bit later now and my camera died, so I think what I left off saying was that I got a new phone down there where we were shopping and yeah, I'm super excited about it. I think it will just level up my bookstagram and I'm excited about the higher quality camera and I got it all set up and everything. I got the green color, in case you didn't know, green's my favorite color. And yeah, I'm just very excited about this. This is the first phone, I, the first new phone I've got in about four years. So my old phone was the 10R, this is the 13. But yeah, just wanted to give a little update on that. Super excited about it. Anyway, when my battery was charging, we had dinner, we just had like oven pizza. And yeah, I got a package. So I think I'm going to show you guys that. And then I'm going to show you guys my new coffee recipe and try a new creamer. This is actually a mailer from Audible and it's about their, it's for their new original series called Mrs. Wickham. And I'm excited to listen to it and see what it's all about. I think it's a retelling of Pride and Prejudice, but it's about Elizabeth Bennet's sister instead of Elizabeth. So we got a blanket! Super excited! It's a very soft, I wish you guys could feel it. Very soft blanket. We got this cool 60 hour candle made from beeswax, which is good. It's eco-friendly. This will be interesting to try. We've got the little flask. And this card. I got a tea kettle. I, this is actually really cute. I am very excited to use this one. And it also came with some tea. It's hot cinnamon spice tea. I got this Echo Dot from, uh, Alexa Echo Dot from Amazon. This is like some, some flowers, I think it's like that in the picture if you can see it. And yeah, it's just those flowers. I'm not going to take those out now, but if I take them out in this video, I'll show you. And if I don't in this video, I'll show you in the next video. But yeah, I'm very thankful that I sent this. And I, like I said, I'm excited to listen to the book. I, I think it will be really interesting. So yeah. If you get the chance, you should also check it out. Alright friends, now I'm going to make a little afternoon pick-me-up iced coffee and I'm going to try out a new creamer, which I will show you guys in a sec. And it was pretty close, but it spilled a little bit. I guess that's okay. My coffee is made. That was my first time trying out that little espresso cup but I clearly it didn't work out, but I know to just use the regular espresso, like that one that I used was a double espresso, but now I know to use a regular, I think it's like one ounce or something like that, that one, 
but anyway this is the creamer I got it's the soak maple brown sugar creamer oat creamer and I've had this for a while and I've been excited to try it so let me just try it that's pretty good Nate do you want to try it Wow, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Don't you taste the maple? Uh, yeah, that's very, it's very, ma on. <laughs> very maple forward. Yeah, yeah. Here, let me get that. Yeah, very maple-y. And a nice accent of coffee, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I like my coffee. But, yeah. Highly recommend this. I've been looking forward to it, like I said. And yeah, I'm glad it tastes good and you all should definitely try it and if you do, you should let me know what you think of it. But now I think I am going to drink this and read for a bit and then maybe we'll make, I was saying maybe we could make these. Uh, we've had these for a while and I've been waiting to make them for like a, a perf the perfect day and today seems like a good day but yeah so that's what's on the agenda drink coffee read make cookies and then watch lord of the rings we're currently watching the second one we watched the first one thursday night i think i love the lord of the rings so far and i'm excited to watch the new series on amazon prime and if you're wondering all the movies are on amazon prime so that's where you can watch this but that's what I will be up to this evening. I'm back. We're going to make some of these Pillsbury pumpkin cookies. What's the trick? <laughs> Comment below if you liked this trick. <laughs> I didn't say it was a good trick. <laughs> At least they're all in here now. Look at yeah, that that's makes it easy, I suppose. day now and I thought I would just end off this vlog now since I didn't do it last night and yeah I just wanted to say that yesterday was a good day and I was happy with the books I got and the things I got and just like getting in the fall spirit so yeah but before I did go I did want to say I finished reading this book I think I finished it Friday night and I really enjoyed it and so I just wanted to give you guys that little book recommendation. It's like super cozy and magical and just like perfect for the fall time especially if you just want a cozy, comforting, heartwarming read. So yeah, highly recommend that. Also highly recommend watching Lord of the Rings and yeah we finished The Two Towers last night and so then I think we'll watch Return of the King maybe sometime today or tonight or tomorrow and finish that but yeah I wanted to say subscribe like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know if you liked this type of video this was a bit different from my just typical book content but I wanted to I think I want to do more vlogs just I think that would be fun but I would still do the same amount of book content and then maybe incorporate a vlog every once in a while as a bonus upload so let me know if you would be interested in that and yeah i hope you all have a great day when you're watching this and i will see you in the next video